Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on uh, binary logic. It says that there are four students, W, X, Y, Z, they took an examination and uh, they scored a whole number of marks. Okay. <clears throat> Five teachers, A, B, C, D, made the following statements about their marks. Uh, A said exactly three students together scored 60 marks. B said exactly three students together scored 50 marks. C said 40, D said 30 and E said 20. And it is given that exactly one teacher is lying out of them. Now, if only one of the teachers is lying, then how will we determine that who is lying? So, now A is saying that three are scoring total 60, B is saying total 50, C, uh, C is saying total 40 of three students. Okay. Now, only one of them is lying. Others are speaking the truth. So, that means all of them are reporting different, three different set of students. So, all of them are reporting about three different set of students. So, if we make three different sets, that means uh, one could be W, X, Y. Then it would be W plus X plus Z. Then it could be W plus Y plus Z. Then it could be X plus Y plus Z. So basically these four scores are being reported by these five teachers. Okay. Now what we will do is we will assume one by one that who is lying. So suppose A is lying. So if we say that the liar is A. So that means these four people are telling the truth. Okay. So we do not know who is W. We cannot distinguish that who is W, X, Y, Z. We can just say that these are reporting three to uh, total of three things. So we just add this. Let us assume that this is uh, W, X, Y, this is W, X, Z, this is W, Y, Z and X, Y, Z. So 50 in any order. Okay. The purpose is not to find the order. So if we add all these, so we see that it is 3 times of W plus 3 times of X plus 3 times of Y plus Z. So we will get this. Now if we add this, it comes as 90 plus uh, 50, that is 140. Okay. So we get W, X, Y, Z is equal to 140 by 3. But what is given that they scored a whole number of marks whole number means this cannot be an infractions okay so that means a is not lying okay now if we assume that b is lying so uh, we will subtract uh, we will what we will do is we will ignore this uh, like we will add 60 instead of 50 so ye kitna ban jayega ab now this will become 150 150 it will become so the total of these four will become 50. Okay. Now you might say that B is lying in this case, but wait, what of what these, these people are reporting? These people are reporting the marks of total of three of these students. Okay. So suppose B is lying. We are saying ki sabka total are one, sabka total are 50. W, X, Y, Z ka charo ka total 50 are. But A was reporting the total of three students. How can be the total of three greater than total of four? Because all of them are scoring whole number of marks. Whole number includes zero and like zero and natural numbers. Okay. So how can be the total of three greater than the total of four? That means one of them must be having a negative score, which is not possible. So our assumption that B is lying is also false. Okay, so ne next we will check for C. So what will happen is the score will keep increasing. Like uh, when we exclude this, the total was 140. When we excluded this, it will be uh, uh, 150, 160, again not divisible by 3, 170, 180. So if we include, if we include that E is the liar, so E lies means 30, 40, 50, 60 will be included. So that means the total turns out to be 180 and the grand total of these four is 60 marks. Okay. So this means that E is lying. 
right so now we will find out the scores of these people so we do not know in what order they are right but we know that the grand total is 60 so total of four people is 60 now a says exactly three students together scored 60 marks so suppose a talked about wxy so the remaining person one of the scores will be zero okay b reported the score of three students as 50 so 60 minus 50 that is 10 okay c reported the score of three students 40 so 60 minus 40 is 20 d reported the score of uh, three students at 30 so the total re remaining will be 30 so these will be the marks of the students in any order right so this this was just to explain this is not the order this does not mean that wxy is 60 so it was just to explain right so the total is 60 they the scores can be in any order okay so the liar is e the next question what is the highest score of any student so the highest score is 30 what is the total score of the students so total score is 60 and if the scores of w x y z are in descending order what is the score of y so w x y z so since it is given in the question so we will take this way so score of y will come as 10 so that is the solution to the set and answers to the questions if you loved solving this questions please do like the video